I am sure by now that you have heard of Kim Klasik. This young lady is trying to do something that's never been done before. She's trying to become the first Republican, the first female to hold the House seat number seven in Baltimore. This is Elijah Cummings' old seat. Now, if you haven't heard of her, I'm sure you've seen the viral video that she did, or you may have seen her when she kicked off the RNC convention with a riveting speech. Well, I'm going to talk to you about Kim and what she stands for and her solution for solving the inner city problems in Baltimore. Now let's first talk about the issues that Baltimore has been having. Remember, Baltimore has been run by Democrats for the past 50 plus years. For the past five years, They've had over 300 murders going back to the 2015 riots, which by the way, was under Barack Obama. One big issue that Ms. Klasik talked about is the fact that Baltimore has misused the federal money that's been given to the city. Where is it to show for? So in her viral ad that I'm sure you've seen, she walks down the street of Baltimore and you see dilapidation all over the place. And yet she says that no one wants to show you this because they will have to be held accountable for the misactions of the elected officials of Baltimore. I grew up in Maryland, not too far from Baltimore. My son had major surgery in Johns Hopkins, which is right in the middle of the downtown urban center in Baltimore. And so I have an affiliation with Baltimore and I have some love for the city. And my father is a big Ravens fan. And so to me, this is something that I've seen my entire life. And so it would be really good to see the city be turned around. And so what are the solutions that she has in place? So she's laying out a three tier plan. The first tier is family structure, bringing that back into focus. Secondly, she's looking at school systems and improving that and education in general. She's for school choice. And number three, she's looking for economic empowerment for the residents. So one reason why I wanted to do this video was to share with you a proposal that she just announced. It's a pretty fascinating and out of the box solution that I think could actually work. The first thing is to take the dilapidated properties that are in Baltimore, 17,000 plus, take those and have nonviolent drug dealers come in, have a one year amnesty program. They go into those properties, they flip them, become owners, get rid of their life of crime, and then become partners with the community. So those new homes will become rent owned programs for new residents. And so while career opportunities flood into Baltimore based on her idea, she wants to take the ports in Baltimore and use that to bring medical equipment into the city to bring money and income into there. At the same time, eliminate the drug problem and also allow people who were living on the street for many years now a chance to survive. This are the solutions that she put in place. And these are the out of box solutions that Democrats are radically opposed to because they don't like school choice. They don't like commerce. They don't like economics. These are solutions that only conservatives can have. So I recommend that you go to her website, Kim K for Congress. We'll leave a link below. Check her out, support her, and thank you for listening. And if you're looking for content of culture, TV, movies, and politics filtered to you the right way, then please click the like and subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. Go to walktheway.net and make it known when you first walked away. And also share with your friends as we're trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. And please check out some content that we have right here here.